Hello and welcome to the SCLD podcast. I'm Erin Dodge. Um, here with Spokane County Library District, and today I'm with Librarian ha Gwendolyn. <laughs> I almost called you Haley Gwendolyn. That would be correct if you are filed on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you yes. were the book yes. of yourself, okay. <laughs> and we're here today to talk about something um, great. That's first time. It's brand new. It's yes. coming in July. Yes. And um, you want to share what it is? Yes, I'm very excited. It is our SCLD online author series, and I'm so excited about this because. One of the questions we often get from our com community and from customers is, you should bring in more authors. You should bring in this big name author, oh, that big name author. And if only. If only. <laughs> so I'm so excited because we have, we're have we working with uh, an organization that put together a library consortium. So a lot of different libraries okay. in the country. And we're all um, able to kind of pull our resources yeah. to do online author talks with some big name authors. Very cool. And so starting in July, we're going to have a minimum of three authors a month. Yes. Um, that are coming in in a range of fiction and nonfiction and at different times of the day. And so there'll be live um, presentations that you can watch live or um, watch, come back and watch at your convenience oh, yeah. later because they'll okay. be recorded. So I'm super excited about it. It's something that um, we've always wanted to be able to do more well, and, and bring in more authors. And like you said, readers. Uh, me included, um, I we just can't get enough of authors. I mm -hmm. think you you find a book, you love a book, you read a book, and you like. I want to mm -hmm. see what the author has to say. Like, how did they get? How did they create this book? How did they write it? How did they mm -hmm. research it? How did they uh -huh. come up with these characters? What? It, when you love a book, it really fascinates you, and you want right. to learn more. Right, and sometimes you hear an author talk and go, I really need to read that book. Like, I have that the reverse too. sometimes. Oh. It's like, oh, that's fascinating, especially with nonfiction books. I kind of go, oh, oh I, really, I really should read that. You know, uh, I'm the same way, because I'm a fiction reader, but my husband reads tons of nonfiction. <laughs> so he'll be like, you'll like this one, and he'll tell me all about it, and I'll be like, it reads like fiction. And I'll be like, oh, OK. Yeah. Like, yeah. But, but yeah, there's some really great um, artists that and uh, writers that we can now watch them online. Yes, and, and the nice thing about it being online, you'll be able to ask questions if you're watching the live oh, presentation you know, through chat and things like that. So um, that's that's pretty cool, and I'm excited. So our first author is um, the author of the Henna Artist. Oh, and it's Alka Joshi, I think is how you say her okay. name. I'm excited about it. It's a New York. She's a New York Times bestselling author, and also was a Reese, Wither Reese Witherspoon book club pick. Wow. So for people who are kind of paying attention to stuff like that, a yes. lot of people have read this book. Obviously, it's on the bestseller list. Yes. It's an author that we would not likely ever be able to bring so in in person. <laughs> you and I both have have worked to bring authors in mm -hmm. um, live, like in person to the library, yes. or to so those mm -hmm. sorts of events. And a lot of people don't realize how expensive authors are. It is, because for especially for bi the bigger the author, the more expensive it is, because they need to spend time writing. And yes. that's their primary job, is writing. Yes. And then also, um, you know, their draw is big enough that that they don't need free publicity anymore. No. They're, they're generating well, their own publicity. And sometimes you know, an author will be on a book tour mm -hmm. where the publisher is kind of paying for them to go around. And, right. and that'll be free for bookstores that are going to sell the book. And that makes sense. But for libraries, uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is, it is, and of course for us in Spokane too, anytime we're bringing in an author from out of town, yes. um, we, you know, there's there's costs affiliated with airfare and hotel, uh, hotel accommodation and things like that. Yes. So it, it does, it does add up. It does so add up. I'm, because I'm the one who sees the budget, I can say that we are getting a screaming yeah, so on this. So, so we, for what we are, are spending uh, yes. as a library district for this program, I could not bring in even one of these authors. Exactly. So it's it's a really great opportunity. Another example of how libraries tend to kind of look around and say, how can we share? How can we and share? And work together to, so that everybody gets more. And how can everybody at home um, participate and, and, and ask their questions of the right. author? They can participate live like right. it's online but mm -hmm. and you're in your own home so that might be a good thing yeah yeah <laughs> Some no, of great. and one of the things we found yeah. is that there are things that people will come to um, virtually yes. um, at the end of the day after work for it in the evening where you know I, I don't know sometimes I get home at the end of the day at work and I'm like oh please don't make me go I don't want to go back out again and yes. um, so I'm excited about this um, July 7th at 6 p.m. Okay. is the henna artist yes. um, but they were also going to have some things that are happening like in the morning or the afternoon, some of our nonfiction are okay. authors. So David Allen, who's a New York Times bestselling author and also the world's leading expert on 
stress-free productivity. Ooh. So I'm already in, I'm already interested. But his book. So is, that would be one where I haven't read it yet, but I'm going to go because I'm going to learn more, and then I'll you know th that'll let me know if I want to read about it. Right, right. Exactly. And so um, it's called Getting Things Done: The Art of Stress-Free Productivity. Wow. And so he's an expert. I'm excited about that. And it's that at nine in the morning. But again, okay. if, if you are um, someone who works in an office, and this is something that is. Um, you know, kind of professional development reading. You could, you, might be you could watch you could, this. You could, and then find yeah. out. Yeah, and so ask your supervisor, like, hey, this is happening mm -hmm. for this an hour. hour. Mm -hmm. I need, I need to, to do some talk. training. Yeah, so I'm, I'm super excited. And then um, also coming up in August, we'll have our Marcia Chatelaine, who's the author of Franchise: The Golden Archers and Arches in Black America. So oh. it's the history of the franchise and McDonald's, yeah. and also the history of African American history too and she's a Pulitzer Prize winning winner as well wow. as a historian so that's pretty exciting and so just kind of you can see kind of the range of topics mm -hmm. and that that one's at 11 a.m. but as I said even if the time that it's live doesn't work for yes. you you'll be able to watch it at your convenience just follow the same it. link yeah it'll yeah. be right there and then you can go back and you know talk about it and say oh I just watched this great author you should watch it and yes. you know tell your friends I always tell your friends tell about your friends. things the library has going on well and then check out the book yeah yeah, and we'll have copies of the book available through the library. Um, we're also going to bring in a Liz Moore, the author of Long Bright River, another New York Times bestselling wow. author, the NPR Best Book of 2020. And that's in the evening, August 9th mm -hmm. at 6 p.m. Yeah, so really, really cool, cool authors that we're coming in. And we already have the list. If you go to the website, uh, you'll find the list through October. So you can kind of see what we've got coming and get excited. And let me give you that, uh, that link. It's scld.org forward slash authors dash series and that'll take you right to where you need to go yeah. to find this and and figure yeah. out how to get yeah, it's really watch easy them. just to, to you can register and then log on and it really is easy peasy and of course if you don't have access to a computer in your home or oh. if you don't have access to good internet you can come into the library and watch these as well yes um, you can use one of our computers um, borrow a laptop yeah, I, I'm so excited. Uh, these are going to be great events um, and a great opportunity just to come together with folks um, virtually uh, around yeah. a common topic and hear from an author that probably would not be hitting the Spokane market necessarily because we are not a large market. So really yes. big time authors don't always hit Spokane on their big publicity book tours. Sometimes, so. they, <laughs> sometimes they skip through and I miss them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah. this is, if you miss it, you can always go back to the recording. Yeah, yeah. so I'm super excited. This program has been uh, several months in the in the making and it's, it's brand new. Like it just launched for libraries um, this year. So not only Very is it the cool. first time for us here at Spokane County Library District, the first time anywhere. Oh, great. In the country. We're so on the ground floor. We really are. <laughs> and I, I, I can't even tell you how excited I am. I, I got the list of authors that were going to be coming at first and I was like, oh, yay, this is really this great. This is great. Is there a couple more you want to talk about? Um, yeah, well, there's actually a parenting expert. Uh, Dr. Michelle Borba has a book called Raising Thrivers. Yes. And this is one that actually speaks to a lot of us who are parents. Parenting tips and tools to help kids thrive in an uncertain world. And if we could say anything definitively <laughs> about the last couple of years and where we're at now, it feels very uncertain. And we're in it's an uncertain hard. world. Yeah, it's hard to be a parent and to kind of provide that security and, and certainty that kids really need to thrive on when we sure. don't even know what's going to happen next. Sure. Yeah. Agreed. And that's in September. That's in so, September. Right as we're going back to school, uh, yeah. good time, you know, to just kind of go. <laughs> <sighs> All right. We got it. We, we got and this Learn some more. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is wonderful. Um, so it's the SCLD Online Authors Series. Mm -hmm. So all of the author talks are online. You can mm -hmm. watch them live. You can see the recordings after. Mm -hmm. um, if you're in the live sessions, you can ask questions mm -hmm. and um, get to see some really great authors that normally we wouldn't have a chance to see. We'd and not be bringing into and the it, library. There's <laughs> two to three to four of these a month. So um, there's a lot of good author content. Yeah, I'm really excited about and it. And it will have all the books. Yes, and then you, you can, can pick up out. the book and read it, or read it in advance read it in if advance. you like to do the assignment beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do it after. <laughs> it depends. Sometimes I've already done the assignment. I didn't even know I did it. <laughs> all right, well, thank you, Gwendolyn. Thank you, Erin. Glad to be here. And thank you, and I hope you check out our new SCLD online author series, and we'll see you next time.